morning. I'm Miss Corinne and this is Take Two Tales, your virtual story time on Friday. Well, the other night I was driving home just as the sun was setting and I looked up into the sky, which was getting dark, and there in the sky was a big, bright, round moon. Wow. You know, when the moon is a whole circle, we call that a full moon. It was so beautiful. You know, when I was a kid, I heard stories about the man in the moon and how if you looked at the moon, you could see markings and they looked kind of like a man. And I, when I look at the moon, I kind of see a face there. But in some parts of the world, um, in the Far East, particularly China, they look up at the moon and they say, I see a rabbit. And that's because of a very old Chinese folk tale that I would like to share with you today called The Jade Rabbit. Let's go to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time, three old men went walking in the woods. After walking for a long time, they met a fox. Please, Mr. Fox, they asked. We've been walking a long time and are quite hungry. Can you help us? Oh, why, yes, I can catch you some fish, said the fox. He ran off to the river, caught several fish, and brought them back for the old men to eat. Thank you, Mr. Fox. The three old men kept walking. They had walked for a long time when they met a monkey. Please, Mrs. Monkey, we've been walking for a long time and are quite hungry. Can you help us? Oh, of course, said the monkey. I can pick you some fruit. She went off to climb a tree and picked some delicious fruit, bringing it back for the old men to eat. Thank you, Mrs. Monkey. The three old men kept walking. They had walked for a very, very long time when they met a rabbit. Please, Mr. Rabbit, we've been walking a very long time and are quite hungry. Can you help us? The fox caught us fish and the monkey picked fruit from a tree. Well, said the rabbit, I would very much like to help, but I can't fish and I can't climb trees. You do look very hungry though, so what about rabbit stew? I will build a fire and you can eat me. <gasps> the three old men were astonished at the rabbit's offer. This rabbit doesn't even know us, and he would sacrifice his life to feed us. We have never seen such kindness and generosity in the whole world. To the rabbit's great surprise, the three old men revealed themselves to be powerful magicians and keepers of the forest. They granted the rabbit immortality. He would live forever, and they granted him anything he wished for. I, I wish I could live on the moon. That way, I could look down and see everything that happens on Earth and never be lonely or bored. Your wish is granted. The three magicians sent the rabbit to the moon, and if you look carefully, you can see that he lives there still. The end. What did you think about that story? Do you think there's a rabbit living on the moon? Next time there's a full moon, look up and see. Let me know if you see a man in the moon, or if you see a rabbit, or if you see something else. I'll see you next time. Bye.